Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and resolve if the base system device as well as the PCI data acquisition and signal processing is experiencing controller issues on your Windows computer. So if you're having a problem with this, then hopefully I'll be able to down and install the necessary software to be able to make it work properly. So we're going to jump into it and start by opening up your web browser. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome in this tutorial. I'll have a link in the description of the video to this Intel file here that we're going to be downloading on our computer. So I have a URL I'm going to have in the description of the video to the Intel Download Center, so the official source for all the Intel processes and applications. And it's going to be in the description of the video, so just go ahead and type it into your URL bar, copy and paste it in, and we're just going to give it a moment to load up here. On the left side, we're going to go ahead and select the Intel chipset win, and then it should be a version number here. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Please note, the available downloads for Windows 10, so that's the one we are going to be selecting. Obviously, this download will not apply for Windows 7 or 8 or any older editions of Microsoft Windows. and you will have to accept the terms in the license agreement so go ahead and select that should be a compressed file format here only about three megabytes so shouldn't take very long to download at all and once it's downloaded to your computer just open it up should be another folder in here so go ahead and double click on that and now you want to select the setup chipset application so go ahead and double click on that you want to select the run option publisher should say intel software and firmware products select run So at this point, since you're about to sell the following product, you want to select next, go along with the installation process, and select accept, and that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.